And let me tell you why and how this month, October, Tishrei is so important. Because there's counterfeits. There's Halloween. All, all Hallows Eve. There's the greatest uh, Hindu festival of the year. The festival of lights. There's a Ramadan that's happening at the end of the month. Do you hear me? So the heavenlies understand the importance of this month. So that's why there's so much warfare and counterfeits in October and the month of Tishrei. Because the heavenly principalities understand the importance of this month, of the new beginning, of the open heavens. That's why in Ramadan, in the Hindu festival of lights and Buddhism, that's why uh, there's so much incense and sacrifice that's burning because it's actually a counterfeit to what God's doing in the church. Tishrei, October, that's why it's called in the beginning. Because the Lord wants to align us with heaven and we're off to a great start. With the 10 days of all Rosh Hashanah, the end of the year. Amen. The trumpet blast, shofar blast, feast of trumpets. And then we enter into the Holy of Holies, the day of atonement. Amen. Which means that now we actually pass through uh, the seat of judgment and we pass beyond because we have the Father's approval and favor. Which means that when we come before God at the day and the seat of judgment, we've actually received favor and grace by the blood of Jesus and we move beyond the veil. So praise the Lord. But right now we're in the Hebrew month of Tishrei. Uh, October is the month of Tishrei. Someone say amen. So October is the month of Tishrei in the Hebrew calendar. And right now we're also in the 10 days of all. So what you need to expect, people of God, is the month of October. Expect awesome things. Expect awesome things. Someone say awesome. I'm telling you, your jaw is going to drop. You're going to be uh, just marveled. You're going to be uh, bewildered. You're going to be confounded. You're going to be taken away. The Lord's going to blow your mind because it's going to be greater above and beyond your imagination. What you can dream, think, what you can possibly even try to conjure and muster up. And I'm telling you by the word of the Lord that the Lord is about to cause you to be in awe. Someone say ah. Someone say amen. All right, so right now we're, we're in Rosh Hashanah, it ends tonight, and we're also in the 10 days of all. Next Tuesday is Yom Kippur, and the, literally a few days after that is Sukkot. Someone say Sukkot, S-U-K-K-O-T. It is the Feast of Booths, okay? I'm, I'm going to go pretty Hebrew on you here today, okay? Is that okay? Okay, I'm going to go pretty Hebrew on you here because there's... Who here knows that the Old Testament, the Bible, the Torah was written in Hebrew? Who here knows that Jesus spoke Hebrew? Who here knows that when God spoke the earth, uh, the heaven and the earth into creation, he actually spoke it in Hebrew. He didn't speak it in Arabic and excuse you. He didn't speak it in tongues and he didn't speak it in English. He spoke it in Hebrew. It is the original language of God and there's revelation and there's realms that's caught up in the Hebrew language, all right? But anyway, so I, I'm gonna go a little Hebrew today, but uh, next, we're in the 10 days of all, which stands for continual repentance, searching of hearts, and even as I said yesterday, the books of life are open right now. We're in a time and a season, uh, these next 10 days, where the books of life are open, and the Lord showed me this a month ago, there's books of destiny over nations, regions, and individuals. All right, so right now, what you do, how you pray, how you sow, how you fast, how you treat one another, what you do in secret, in deed, and in word, in secret, and in public. The scribe angels are scribing all of these things from now to Yom Kippur, which is next Tuesday. And we all know that Yom Kippur is the most holy uh, day. It's a day of atonement. Someone say amen. It's a day of atonement where Jesus, representing us, we are him. We are one in spirit and in body. We went past the veil in the Holy of Holies. We went past the veil into the greater glory of God, which is complete union with Christ and the Father. All right? That's the next Tuesday, the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur, is the most holy day. The veil has been torn. Amen. There is no more separation. There is no more different dimensions. We're fully one. We are in the fullness of Christ. All right? So right now we're in the time frame of inscribing blotting and sealing someone write that down i know i'm just giving some review so we can go into the word of this month of tishrei of october inscribing blotting and uh sealing okay so like i said earlier we're, we're in critical times 
your books of destiny, your scrolls of destiny for this year, the, this next new year, 5780 and the whole decade of the 80s. I'm telling you by the word of the Lord, by the spirit of God, there is a ceiling that's happening for your destiny for this next decade. And you can press into that, sow into it, pray and fast, and shakarabo, and press into it in the next 10 days of all. The Lord is about to do great and wondrous, awesome, mighty things in your life. Even the next 10 days, it's going to set you up for this month. It's going to set you up to end 2019. It's going to set you up for all of the first year of 5780. It's going to set you up for the whole decade of dominion and establishment. If you believe it, someone say amen. All right, listen. Uh, so we're in, uh, and after Yom Kippur, it's Sukkot. Someone say Sukkot. All right, now I need to talk about the Feast of Booths or the Feast of Tabernacles very quickly. It's going to be from October 13th to 20th, okay? October 13th to 20th. So right after Yom Kippur, all right, which is uh, October 8th to 9th, the Sunday afterwards, 13th to 20, is the Feast of Sukkoth, which is the Feast of Booths or Tabernacles. Do you not know that you are a tabernacle? We are tabernacles of the Lord. And I'm going to teach on this and revelate in, in a little bit. But these three critical feasts, these three critical celebrations are in the beginning of this new year. Are in the beginning of this month, Tishrei, October. That's why it's called in the beginning. Because the Lord wants to align us with heaven and we're off to a great start. With the 10 days of all Rosh Hashanah, the head of the year. Amen. The trumpet blast, shofar blast, feast of trumpets. And then we enter into the Holy of Holies, the Day of Atonement. Amen. Which means that now we actually pass through uh, the seat of judgment and we pass beyond because we have the Father's approval and favor. Which means that when we come before God at the day and the seat of judgment... We've actually received favor and grace by the blood of Jesus, and we move beyond the veil. That's the Day of Atonement, next Tuesday and Wednesday, Yom Kippur, the most holy day in all of, all, of, uh, uh, all of the Jewish calendar, biblical calendar. And then afterwards, we go into the Feast of Booths. There's three critical celebrations in this month of October. Hear this, people of God. This is the word from the Lord. Hear this, because this month, Tishrei, in the beginning, he's setting you up. For these three things, all right, I want to talk to you uh, about these three things here, okay? I want to talk to you about these three things. The Feast of Booths, Tabernacle, has to do with, hear me, please hear me, has to do with the 40 years of Israel wandering in the wilderness. And as they were wandering, what did they do? They made booths or tabernacles, or in Hebrew, Sukkot. They made booths for themselves. Coverings. Someone hear me. They made coverings. Okay. They didn't make permanent houses. They made temporary tabernacles, temporary coverings for 40 years. But after 40 years, they crossed over and they took possession of the land and they were established. Listen, I'm telling you now that the Lord is ending your 40 year season. He's ending your 40 years of wilderness and judgment and confusion, and you're crossing over into the new day, into the new land, into the new glory, into the new year, and into the new decade. So tabernacle, Sukkot, has to do with how the Lord tabernacled with men. Emmanuel, God with us. How God actually came down from heaven to earth. He delivered us from Exodus, from Egypt, amen, from the old year. He delivered us, and he actually came down from heaven to earth, and he tabernacled with us, God to man. And now he lives in you, he dwells in you, and you are his tabernacle, and he has tabernacled with man. That's why you're feeling a stretching because it's a month of harvest, or right? we're in a full season of harvest. And that's why you've been feeling a stretching, because you are the tent. You are his tent of glory. We are carriers of glory. We are glory carriers, but you are his tabernacle. 
That's why you cannot stay here. You cannot stay there. That's why you cannot be stagnant. You cannot stay stuck in one season, one year, in one realm, in one dimension. Because you're moving from glory to glory in these glory realms. And you're ascending the hill, the mountaintop of the Lord. And the Lord is saying that you are going from glory to glory, height to height, faith to faith, year to year, month to month. And in this month of Tishrei of October, there is a new beginning. And he's causing you to tabernacle with him in a new way which means that you're going to experience him you're going to encounter him you're going to feel his nearness you're going to feel the drawing of the lord do you not know that god is drawing you near like the moon in the evening night that the moon begins to draw the waves and now the waves begin to draw near and we know that as the waves draw near that you could begin to see the the seashore even more clearly because the moon Christ Jesus, he's drawing you near. There's a gravitational pull to draw near. And let me tell you why and how this month, October, Tishrei is so important. Because there's counterfeits. There's Halloween. All, all Hallows Eve. There's the greatest uh, Hindu festival of the year. The festival of lights. There's a Ramadan that's happening at the end of the month. Do you hear me? So the heavenlies understand the importance of this month. So that's why there's so much warfare and counterfeits in October and the month of Tishrei. Because the heavenly principalities understand the importance of this month, of the new beginning, of the open heavens. That's why in Ramadan, in the Hindu festival of lights, and Buddhism, that's why uh, there's so much incense and sacrifice that's burning. Because it's actually a counterfeit to what God's doing in the church. With his promised chosen Zion people. There's a new beginning. There's a new launching. There's a new birthing. It is a new year. Someone say amen. If you're receiving, give me some hearts and likes here. So Sukkot has to do with a new tabernacling. What does that mean? A new beginning. That means that you have a new face. It means that you have a new name. It means that you have metamorphed. You have evolved. You have transfigured into a new realm of glory. That means that you're not the same person anymore. So in this month of Tishrei, you're going to feel a lot of stretching because you are tabernacling as a Sukkoth of God. As a Sukkoth of God. As a tabernacle of the Holy Ghost. You can't stay here. You're moving to a new place. You're moving to a new you. you. You are a new person. If you're receiving right now, someone say amen in Jesus' name. I'm going to be in Bali, Indonesia in, in two weeks' time. Amen. Listen, I want to give you three points here. I want to give you three things for you to prophetically expect in the month of Tishrei, the new beginning. The beginning of the year, the head of the year. You are the head. You're not the tail. You are above only, not beneath. I'm telling you. Finances are coming to you supernaturally. Blessings are coming to you from the north, east, south, and west. Supernatural death cancellations. Supernatural provision for the vision. I'm telling you, people of God, even October, November, December, the Lord's setting you up. He's preparing you to launch you into the 2020s, the roaring 20s. And he's setting you up for this whole new decade. If you believe it and receive it, say amen. He's 10 days of all. He's setting you up. So Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, the Most Holy Day. And as we go beyond the veil, as we pass through, as we are approved by the judge of the Father, the judge of the Father, the judgment seat of Christ, and we go beyond into tabernacling. We're delivered from Exodus, Egypt, into the promised land. There's, these are times of deliverance. These are times of convergence. These are times where he's going to deliver you and he's going to bring a people out of bondage and out of slavery. You're in a new year. You're in a new season. You're in a new month. All right, someone say amen. All right, listen, three points here. Number one, the month of Tishrei, the month of October, expect number one, write this down if you're writing notes, tabernacling. All right, tabernacling. All right, as I said earlier, the Feast of Tabernacles or the Feast of Booths is actually from... Uh, October 13th to 20th. October 13th to 20th is the Feast of Tabernacles Booths. What the Jewish people will do is they will actually set up a tent, whether outside, inside, in the temple. They will set up a tent and they will camp out. Hear me now. They will camp, they will set up a tent and they will camp out and they will remember of how God delivered them from Egypt from 40 days and, excuse me, 40 years of suffering, from 40 years of, of bondage and wandering and and how god delivered them into 40 uh, into a time of fulfillment and possession 
but they would go into these booths, these tabernacles, and they would uh, remember about how God delivered them. So number one, tabernacle, and what does that mean? Intimacy. It means worship. It means nearness. All right. When you are in a tabernacle, it's just between you and him. You, you come into a little hut. You come into a little tent and you you come near in the presence of God and he begins to meet with you in special specific ways. So in this month of Tishrei, there there's a, there's a supernatural grace for you to receive uh, insight and revelation because the Lord's preparing you. Amen. In this tabernacle, what happens even for uh uh, you know, like a general in a war, you know, just a tent of meeting. What happens in a tent of meeting? God meets with man and, and you begin to get strategies. So expect blueprints and expect strategies. Rabo Shabbat, the Lord is going to begin to anoint you with strategies and divine wisdom and insight and revelation from on high because it's time for the new blueprints or the new war room strategies because you're going to move forth. And take possession of the land. So tabernacle has to do with intimacy. Someone say intimacy. So I'm telling you guys, even in midst of Halloween, even in midst of, uh, you know, uh, Diwali, the Hindu festival, even in midst of Ramadan, all of this false counterfeit spiritual activity and warfare is happening. The Lord's bringing you near into the tabernacle of the Lord. The Lord's bringing you near. And, and what does this mean? Tabernacle means in gathering. Or what does that mean? That means harvest. Someone say harvest, okay? Listen, we're actually in a fall season of harvest. There's spring harvest and there's fall harvest. We are in a fall season of harvest. And in this month of October, there's an ingathering of souls, an ingathering of finances. There's an ingathering right now that's happening uh, of new people, new connections in your life. All right? So the Lord is ingathering and he's bringing together uh, uh, a harvest for you in this month of October. All right. That's why a lot of us celebrate harvest feasts, harvest month, harvest celebrations uh, uh, in the month of October. So that's going to happen in this tabernacle. There's an in gathering. All right. It's time to get cozy. It's time to be intimate. It's time to prepare. Rabo Shabbat. The Lord is going to tabernacle you. Tabernacle you. What does that mean? The Lord is going to clothe you and cover you afresh. In Jesus name. All right. So what does that mean? Tabernacling. All right. That also means if you guys are still with me, give some hearts and likes. Uh, what that means is that there's a, you're going to be moving and walking with the Lord. The interesting thing is, is that with the tabernacle, it was mobile. The temple was permanent. The tabernacle was mobile. That's why there's a big difference with the tabernacle of David versus the temple of Solomon. Because the tabernacle was, although it was a bit dingy and it was a bit, uh, you know, raunchy because it was like a manger. Okay. And it was like a manger because it was mobile because you'd be moving from place to place, territory to the territory, from region to region. And I believe that the Lord is going to be moving you into glory realms in this month. He's going to be moving you into glory dimensions in this month. And so as you are tabernacling with the Lord, you're going to begin to experience new things. And that brings me to my second point. If you're believing and receiving this, some say amen. That brings me to my second point. In this month of October Tishrei, expect the second thing. Transition. Expect transition. Now, this big T word is a big word that a lot of us talk about in the Christian charismatic uh, prophetic circle. Transition. But let me tell you what this means. Transition means testing. Okay. Transition means testing. Because as quickly as you let go, you will let God. As quickly as you let go, you will accelerate. So in this month of Tishrei, October, there's going to be transition, which means there's also going to be some testing. All right, he's testing the motives of our heart. He's testing the purity of our heart. He's saying, will you trust me and will you let go and will you move beyond what you know? Which means that he's going to baptize us with fresh faith and love and hope. 
He's going to baptize us with faith, hope, and love because this new month and this new season in this beginning of this year and this decade is going to require more faith. It's going to require more love. It's going to require more humility, more purity, more holiness, more response, more responsibility. So in this month, the Lord is saying, I want to test you in the condition of your heart and I want you to count the cause because in this month of October and Tishrei, as you're tabernacling with me, not only will you see, but I want you to mature and to become and in this month you are in a transition month because this is a hinging month this month of October Tishrei is a hinging month is a transition month because it has the potential to launch you into the rest of this year in the beginning in this year into the rest of this decade so you are in a transition someone say I am in a transition so the month of October is a month of transition the month of October is a month of transition which means that there's going to be testing which means that there's going to be acceleration, there's going to be maturity, there's going to be some difficult things, okay? There's going to be, uh, uh, even though we're in a new month and a new year, Lashana Tova, Chak Sameach, which means Happy New Year and Happy Holidays, even though we're in a new month and a new year and a new decade, amen? There's a pushing and there's a testing for you to transition well and for you to enter into this month and this new year well. Someone say amen. One of the tests that the Hebrew people had with the tabernacle was that they were not grumbling and they were not complaining. They were not grumbling and complaining because that's what kept them stuck. So the Lord is going to mature your heart, cause you to see what you were blinded and cause you to see what you did not see. Vision, 2020 vision, clarity. Apostolic, prophetic, eagle eye, lion head, anointing, vision, clarity. So the Lord is going to cause you to see what you did not see. And in this month, as you're tabernacling and as you're transitioning, he's going to test your heart and your motives and your character and your nature and say, are you still grumbling? Are you still complaining? Are you still uh, in a place of uh, complaining and having a low level of faith. That was done last year, that was last year. Let go, let God and begin to transition and move on to the new and the now. I'm telling you, in this transition, uh, things are gonna be let go. What does that mean? That means just like the fall season as the leaves fall off the trees. In America, in autumn and fall, the leaves fall off the trees. The Lord is saying, things are gonna fall off. Let, let, let things fall off. Hallelujah. Let the old fall off. Let the old, shed the old skin. Shed the old you. Amen. Rabo shabo raba. You are a new person. You are in a new season, which means that I want you to shed the old. Let go of the old. Don't let it drag you behind. Stop tearing baggage. Let it go. Begin to become a lightweight because my burden is light and my yoke is easy. And there's a new realm and level and place of glory that God's wanting to graduate you in. So in this transition season, don't grumble, don't complain. All right. Even in the midst of the testing, but give God thanks. Give him worship. Amen. Because... It is sealed good things with you and for you in your days to come in your future. He has sealed and inscribed great things. And you will only taste of the sweetness and the sweet honeycomb of God in Jesus' name. Someone say amen. You will only taste and see of the sweet honeycomb and the sweet goodness of God in this year, in this month. Shabbat Rabbah. He's turning your bitter into sweet in Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. So you are in a transition. If you believe it, someone say and write, I am in a transition. Someone say and write, my life is in a transition. Someone say and write, my finances is in a transition. My family is in a transition. My, my vision is in a transition. I was once weak, but now I'm strong. I was once small, but now I'm great. I am in a transition says the Lord, and you are tabernacling with him, and you are in a transition with me, says the Lord. Someone say amen. And the third point I want to tell you now uh, about this month of October and Tishrei, if you're receiving, give some hearts and likes. The third point of this month for you to expect in this month of Tishrei, in the beginning, in the month of October, hallelujah, is this turnaround. Someone say turnaround. Amen. What does that mean? Signs and wonders. Okay. Listen, God is the God of miracles. He's not the God of the mundane, although he is the Lord over the mundane, but he is the God of miracles. 
He is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and everything in our Christian faith is based on the supernatural. It is not based on what is conjured up by logical humanistical thinking, but is based on the prophetic, revelatory, uh, uh, divine inspired word of God. It will, it's going to blow your mind. All right. Jesus walked in miracles and he declared unto you and I that we will see greater. Someone say greater. We're in the days of greater glory. And I'm telling you guys in this decade, 5780 in this year 5780 we're going to see some of the greatest exploits that the church has ever seen dead raisings creative miracles nations are going to be born again in a day come on now uh storms weathers are going to change instantly food multiplication financial multiplication many of you will become millionaires and billionaires even in the next few years and in this decade if you believe it say amen you would not have believed it that uh, this man, Trump, would be president if we said it years ago. But even Prophet Kim Clement prophesied this over 10 years ago. Listen, the prophets are prophesying and let the prophets of God speak. Two or three speak and let it be attested and let it be affirmed and confirmed in the house of God in the presence of the Lord. And it will be established. This is a decade of establishment. And I believe the third point for, and for you to expect, for you to see, and, and bring to the bank of heaven is the turnaround. Listen, I believe in this month there's going to be turnarounds. Someone say turnarounds. I believe in this month there's going to be turnarounds. What does that mean? Miracles, signs and wonders. These 10 days of all, even till, uh, till next Tuesday, Yom Kippur, there's going to be miracles. Suddenly, supernatural things are going to happen. You're going to be bewildered. You're going to, uh, your mind's going to be blown. You're going to be blown away. You're going to be in awe of the Lord again. You're going to have childlike eyes of faith and first love, and you're going to just be so astonished, and you're going to tell Testify and proclaim of the good works and the good news of the Lord. And you're going to have lines and lines and pages and pages and books and books of good news and good reports and testimonies. And you're going to brag on God and you're going to boast in the Lord again. Because the Bible says boast in the Lord, not in my works and my doings, but boast in Him. And you're going to be boasting in Him. And in this month of Tishrei, listen, the supernatural realm of God is so thick and intense. Haha, <laughs> witches are going to come to Jesus. Witches are going to come to Jesus. Saul's to Paul's conversions are going to happen. You are going to see more Kanye West, more Justin Bieber's. You're going to see more Hollywood A-listers, more musicians, more celebrities. You're going to see Hollywood turn to Hollywood. Even in this month of Tishrei of October, in this new month of the year, of this new beginning, in this whole new decade, Rabo Shabbata. You're going to see great turnarounds in Jesus' name. And the Lord is going to cause you to be the head and not the tail. And things are going to turn over, turn around. And things are going to move. Move in a supernatural rapid pace of miracles for you, says the Lord. So as we tabernacle, what would the, what, why would you tabernacle? Not, just, not because you're escaping Egypt, but because you make a tent of meeting for the Lord of hosts to meet you. You make a tent of meeting for the Lord to visit you. And for the Lord to inhabit you. We are in the days of visitation. And we are in the days of glory habitation. The Lord is about to inhabit his people and the praises of his people. The Lord is about to inhabit you in such a tangible, glorious, precious way. Come on, saints. That in this month of Tishrei, I'm telling you, you're going to be so impregnated with the power and the glory of God. You're going to be so impregnated. You're going to be so full. You're going to be overflowing. It's a time of harvest. It's a time of in gathering. It's a time of transition. As you tabernacle with the Lord, as you are transitioning with Him, hallelujah, rabo sabah. As you're tabernacling and transitioning with Him from glory to glory, the Lord is going to cause you to now have turnarounds, miracles, awesome things, signs and wonders, suddenly uh, divine connections, divine appointments, things are going to come to your house.
Things are going to come to your inbox. Things are going to come to your mailbox. Things are going to come to your doorstep. The Lord is going to release angels to visit you. Angelic visitations. I'm telling you guys, you're going to get random calls. You're going to get spontaneous messages. You're going to get heads up, heads up, alerts, alerts. There's something good that's coming to you. There's something great that's coming to you in its new beginning. Expect God to do it. Won't he do it? And he will because he is a great I am. And it is done. It is finished. Every promise is in Christ Jesus. Yes and amen. This is the month of Tishrei. This is the month of new beginning. Rabo Sabanda. And there's supernatural power, grace, newness, renewal, rejuvenation, replenishment for you to be thrusted, for you to be empowered, for you to burst forth bursting bursting up from the ground we make it loud so in this month he will tabernacle with you he will transition you someone say i am going from glory to glory i am going from heights to heights this is my year this is my month and as you transition you will have turn around someone say turn around someone say amen someone say amen i'm going to bring this to a close Shababa, and if you're receiving right now, someone say amen. Listen, the destiny scrolls of heaven are open right now. I'm telling you, the Lord showed this to me three months ago, and by revelation and by word, the Lord confirmed it. Because in Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, the destiny scrolls, the books of life, the books of judgment are open. So we're literally in uh, the feast and the time frame where the angels, the scribe angels, are taking account all the deeds done good and bad all the deeds amen shababa writing in the books of life the books of judgment and jesus our lawyer our brethren jesus our uh, uh the one who fights on our behalf our vindicator jesus comes into the courtrooms of the ancient of days of the holy of holies Amen. And he comes into the courtroom and he begins to plead on our behalf. And as Jesus pleads on our behalf, representing us, representing, representing us, you and I, that as he's talking with the Father, now everything's blotted in the blood of Jesus. Everything's blotted and smeared, all right, baptized, covered with the blood of Jesus, the grace and the anointing of the oil of the Holy Ghost of the Lamb of God. So now, as it's inscribed, things are entrusted. Someone say inscription to entrustment. Things are entrusted, and then it's things are blotted out in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And the things are sealed. I pray that great things will be sealed in your book of life. I pray that your name. You better hear me. Your name would be written in the book of life because the greatest gift is salvation. But who here knows that Jesus did not only preach the gospel of salvation, but he preached the gospel of the kingdom. And salvation is holistic. Salvation is wholeness. Salvation is sozo in the Greek, which means every part of your being. So now the Lord is going to seal you. Hallelujah. Ha! He's going to seal you with great things. In your destiny scroll, in your book of life for the days to come, in this month, in this next three months, in this year, and in this decade. Someone say amen. If you believe it, say amen. Listen, right now, people of God, as I'm about to close in prayer, I, I want you to begin to thank the Lord right now. Just thank the Lord right now. Begin to thank the Lord in your own way for the next 30 seconds. Begin to thank the Holy Spirit that He is writing a new thing out of you. Behold, I do a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. And the Holy Spirit is inscribing, he's writing, he's, he's wanting to write history with you and through you. He's wanting to write history with you and through you. So begin to thank the Lord right now and praise him. Be the tabernacle of David, the tabernacle of worship, the tabernacle of praise, of incense, uh, of of worship of, of perfume incense, freaking incense rising, awake in the dawn, 50 tents of 50 states of America. And as we worship the Lord, thank you for the transition and thank you for the turnaround that's coming. It's sealed. It is written. 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 Now listen, I want to pray for you guys right now. I want to pray in this month of October, the month of Tishrei. Listen, there's a supernatural grace for you to see, 
and for you to receive and for you to become, okay? It is a transitional month. It is a launching month, all right? It's a month where it's going to set things in stone and in order. And he, she who has ears to hear, this month, November and December, the next three months till the end of 2020, these three months, remember, God moves in time frames of three, okay? Three, 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 all right? With three, which means completion and establishment. October, November, December, the Lord's going to, it's like he's, he's summing things up. He's bringing things together. Okay. It's going to be critical. All right. And in this time frame, expect God to, to launch you. God's going to, God's going to launch you. Now I want to pray. I want to pray right now for you people of God. In these 10 days of all to Yom Kippur till next Tuesday, Wednesday, one week from now today and in the season of the 10 days of all and then next week is even the feast of booths tabernacle we are in the tishrei in the beginning the beginning of creation the beginning of all creation in this time i want you to begin to thank the lord and i want you to begin to ask him of what you are to do as you humble yourself before him and as you pray as you humble yourself before him and as you pray the lord is going to anoint you with wisdom insight and revelation to launch you and to birth you strong launch and birth you strong in truth wisdom and integrity for the next year the next three years and the next decade in jesus name someone say amen listen i'm telling you this year, November 2019 to November 2020, we're going to experience hell, but we're also going to experience heaven. We're going to experience wildness, madness, with the re-elections, with the war, with the fights. But this is the fight of our lives. This is the match of all matches. This is the year of all years. Because in this month, he's bringing you in to launch into the re-election, the inauguration, rededication of 2020 into the whole decade. Someone say amen. Someone say amen. Listen, I want to pray for you now. Father, I pray. Give me some hearts and likes here now. Father, I pray for my friends and family watching now and on the replay. I pray, Holy Spirit, that great things will be written about them in their destiny, sealed in their scroll. I pray, Father, Jesus said that he, she who thinks has will be taken. And the one who does have will be entrusted and given more. I pray that the God of the more, even more, that the God of abundance would bless you, impart into you, and entrust you with so much more. More than you can think, more than you can imagine, more than you thought was possible. Get ready for turnarounds, get ready for transition, get ready for tabernacling. Because your intimacy is going to launch you into destiny. Destiny scrolls be released to you now over your city now los angeles is a city of angels and revival now florida is a state of revival now it is a state of harvest now there's destiny schools being released over your city over your county over your state over your region over your family over your nation over america now over president trump now over the nations now 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 now, in Jesus' name, release it, loosen it. I destroy all the warfare. I destroy the spirit of witchcraft and magic that's been trying to go up and be witchmen. And I decree, I decree, and I declare now for newness, a new beginning, a new stature, a new plateau, a new place, a new height, a new air. Breathe it in now because you are a new creation. And in this month, you're going to experience the new, new, new. Tabernacling transition and turnaround testimonies. Someone say amen. I want you to repeat to say, I am a miracle testimony. I am a miracle testimony. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Listen, if you're blessed right now, I want you to give us some hearts and likes right now. And I do want you to share, people of God. As I close today, I, I really want to encourage you. Listen. I heed you, heed these words, H-E-E-D, please heed these words. The angels of the Lord are watching, the Lord is watching, and the angels are watching. So heed these words, do what's good, do what's great, repent, teshuvah, which means in Hebrew to repent, which means to make wrong things right. Make every wrong thing right, do your best, amen, get your house in order, get things ready. 
is the Lord's about to seal it. He's about to release it. He's reversing the curse. He's about to reverse the curse. He's about to reverse the curse. Turn around. The tables are turning around. Amen. He's about to launch the people of God. So in this 10 days of all, get ready to be in awe of the Lord. To be amazed and blown away by Jesus. Amen. And he's bringing you and drawing in here. And there's deliverance. And he's going to release you into destiny. Listen, guys. It's Ben Lim live here. Happy Tishrei. Hugs and Happy New Year. Happy New Decade 5780. I'm even going to be releasing different words about 5780. The decade of establishment. And uh, just uh, important prophetic phenomena. And uh, significant uh, um uh, importances of this new year that we're in and really I believe we're in the fight of all fights and we're in the year of all years that's why the Lord's been exposing people people have been falling things have been shut down things have been closed all the wine skins have been turned off you know what I mean uh, even how one thing after what 19 20 years at IHOP they did it for 20 years and they finished it amen it's a finishing of a season because it's the beginning of a new season <sighs> So there's so many things happening in the spirit and the Lord wants you to be sensitive to him and the Lord wants you to lean into the, and be the tabernacle because you're about to transition and things are turning around and out in Jesus name. Amen. Listen, I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Do share, 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 write, comment beneath what really blessed you and minister to you guys. Uh, we are in the harvest in gathering season month right now and the fall harvest and the harvest uh, of the fall of the autumn season. Amen. And uh, write and comment below what really blessed you and do follow us on YouTube Benlam Global. Do follow me on Instagram Benlam Global. And if you feel led to sow a, a, a seed of harvest, if you feel led to sow a financial seed donation to our ministry uh, into this new year in the beginning, then please do so. A uh, hundred percent of every cent dollar dime goes to the harvest missions and mobilization of all of our efforts uh you know for souls and harvest and crusades but i love you guys this is ben lim live here happy new year happy new month Hak Sameag, happy tishrei month of october it's a month of tabernacling transition and turnarounds and expect great testimonies in all of your lives i love you guys praise the lord god bless you bye-bye